this video, I'm gonna share with you three ways to help you deal with change a little bit easier. Hey, it's Harry from thethoughtgym.com. I hope you're having a fantastic week. The reason for this video is that it cropped up for me this morning when I was on my way to the gym. I didn't really, really wanna go this morning and I was heading to a yoga class, but I was really busy at work and I thought, I don't have time for this, I've got so much to do. But then I thought to myself, right, you know what, I'm so much better when I do go and go to a class or do some exercise or anything, so I went down there. And as I walked down there, I could see from a distance that, like through the glass, that the teacher was a substitute teacher. Anyone who's a regular at uh, yoga will probably go through the same feeling. I was like, oh no, you know, it's this idea of change. It's a different teacher to the one I normally have. I don't know what to expect. I wasn't really in the mood. Is this a sign that I should be maybe going back and working? And this goes through like a lot of people I know. And we, the thing is, we have change everywhere, especially at work. A new leader comes in, they're gonna change things around. And we get really uncomfortable with it, the majority of people anyway. And so these three things might well help you deal with change that little bit easier. And they all went through my head in that kind of 15 second walk from the kind of door through to the yoga studio. But the first thing that went through my head, number one, was to ask myself, I wonder what new thing I'm gonna learn from this new teacher. So I wonder what new thing I'm gonna learn from this change to my routine. Maybe it's gonna be something exciting and that's gonna benefit me. What that does is it puts me in an expectant frame of mind. Something that really is gonna be uplifting and a, an idea of curiosity rather than an idea of actually disdain and disappointment and frustration that I'm having to go through this change. So that's the first thing is ask yourself, what new thing am I gonna learn here? What new skill am I gonna gain from this new teacher? The second thing that went through my head really was, I wonder, maybe this might be even better than my regular teacher. This change might be even better than the way it was before. How cool would that be? I know this sounds really funny to say, but this will go through my head. Maybe that change is gonna be even better than the thing that you had before. And asking yourself that gets you excited, at least gets you willing to start doing the change. Because really, that's the third thing that went through my head is that I said to myself, let me just road test this. Let me just give this person a shot. I've already kind of drawn my conclusion otherwise before I've even gone in there. So let me try it out. Let me try this change out. Now granted, if you're at work, you might not be able to leave your job because of it, but the point is, you've got to go through that change first to determine, are you preferring it? Are you hating it? Whatever's going on. A lot of the time we just hate change because it's change not because of the actual thing that is being changed. Because we haven't decided on the change. That's usually the case, the only time when people enjoy change is when they've made the change themselves. But to be honest, life doesn't happen that way. 99.9% .9 of the changes that happen won't be necessarily instigated by you. And we really need to get comfortable with this idea of change and uncertainty. And the only real way to do that is to be certain in our own approach to things. And once we become certain that we can adapt to change, we can find the benefits within change, then any change that is thrown at us becomes much, much easier to deal with. Okay, so that are the three things. So number one was to ask yourself the question, I wonder what new thing I'm gonna learn here today? I wonder what new thing I'm gonna learn from this change? Something along those lines. The second one was just to say to yourself, imagine this could be even better than before. And the last one was, let me just road test this change and then I can draw a conclusion rather than just deciding up front before I even know anything. All right, that is it for this week. Please remember to subscribe. Also leave a comment. I love hearing from you. Give me some suggestions for other things that maybe you want to hear about and I'll see if I can do a video for you. I would absolutely love that. Until next week, remember those three things to help you deal with change. I'm sure they're gonna be really, really useful. I know they've been useful for me and people I've shared it with. So do take that on board and I will see you next week. Take care, bye bye.